you know when you look at a turkey vest uh, they are so functional and provide so many things and in mine I've got a lot of gear in here and there's a reason for it because in turkey hunting I like to I've got a lot of different things I want to have with me in the field so as I break down my vest here you know we can just start right here at the top this is where I keep everything that I like to use to tag my turkeys I mean and you know be legal out there tape so it doesn't come off a pen so that I can write the data that's required and you know you got a little tape measure here so you can measure the spurs you can measure the beard real quick and it fits nice and handy right here and that's just how I like to set mine up as we go down a little bit further we're going to see that I've got a collection of slate calls and each one of them has a different sound and a different use for me and I I mix it up based on the conditions based on how the birds are are reacting and I'm allowed to use all four of these at any given time uh, based on the conditions and whichever one the birds are responding to are, are the one that I'm going to be using the most and as we go even further into here I always make sure and keep me some sandpaper right here you know so you can be able to scuff up your call each call is going to respond a little bit differently based on you know how you spend your time scuffing those up but that's what i've got right in the middle and when i'm sitting down on the ground i actually leave that open and it's right there in front of me so i can easily move in and out and grab uh, different items out of there to to match the hunting situation this particular vest has a perfect spot here for my box call that i that i put down there and, it just sits in there nice and neat and secure. And secure is a big thing here because you don't want to be walking through the brush and you're, you're hearing all that all the time because it's kind of loose in your hands or in your pocket or something. You want to be able to secure it and really cinch it down. So that's what I like there. As I go a little bit further in here, this is actually for me the only unused spot that I have on my vest right now because what I found is I've got everything else nice and open. And this area here for me, provides a better place for a lot of things, but this would be a great place to go ahead and secure my GPS if I needed to, or secure a rangefinder or another piece of electronics, say your phone for those guys if you'd like to carry it out there. So it's easily a place that you can put things and be able to zip it up, you know, very nice and secure. Speaking of a GPS, I think that this is one of the most important tools that you're gonna find when you're heading out into the field at any given time for turkey hunting. And people are probably gonna roll their eyes at that comment, but the reason why I, I feel that is because it's gonna allow me to do a lot of different things. Say I'm hunting a place that I've never been, the topography map that I can, can have that just generally is set up with these is gonna be able to tell me where the creek bottoms are. It's gonna be able to tell me where the ridges are. And that type of data on an area that I've not hunted will allow me to be able to find strut zones and travel corridors and potentially even roosts on, on a property I've never been to. Take it a step further and, and download some of the satellite imagery that you can find. I can even begin to tell then open areas a little bit more and better because it's gonna break down with incredible detail every place that I'm looking at. You know, and it doesn't matter in those situations whether I've, I've hunted the property or I've not hunted the property, just having that is a real key thing. It also is gonna provide the ability to track your way back to your vehicles or, or wherever you've been because it's so easy out there in a lot of those situations. And, and once again, people may roll their eyes, but everybody has gotten out in an, in an outdoor situation. The sun gets down, you get turned around and, and just having a peace of mind of being able to look at your GPS and the mapping on there and know how to get from where you are back to where you came from is so key and a lot of people in today's world are starting to rely on their phones for that well there's a problem with that cell phone towers are not in some of the best hunting locations but you're always going to be able to find you know your way when it comes to a satellite because of the antenna that's built into here and the satellites tracking overhead so it's just a great peace of mind also going to tell you when sunrise and sunset is in case you're out in those situations questioning exactly where you are when legal shooting time begins and ends as well as a lot of other data so a handheld gps something you absolutely want to make sure that you've got with you every time you pack your turkey vest so as we go a little bit deeper into the vest we've got some great pockets here and that's where i pack a lot of my accessories extra face masks why because i lose them all the time extra gloves a great place to put a few more shells in there never leave home without the extra shells because we all like to think we're going to knock them down on the first time but the reality is we're going to miss on occasion or our buddies are having a few extra uh, shells in there also a great place to put your snacks you know oranges or, or quiet food that's what i like to eat when i'm snacking out into the out in the turkey woods things that aren't going to make a lot of noise where i'm i'm rattling a cellophane wrapper or something like that because if i'm calling soft 
and, and they can hear it. They absolutely can hear a, a cellophane wrapper or a candy wrapper when you're opening it. So if you're hunting a pressured bird, you want to make sure that you've got something quiet to eat out there. As we go to the other side, that's where I always have my range finder. You know, a range finder is something that's going to be able to quickly tell you everything in your area, how far out it's going to be. When you first sit down, it doesn't take you less than 30 seconds to be able to pop four or five range distances off on different trees so that when, you know, whatever game species, in this case turkeys, pass by, you know exactly where you're at. So it's going to help you be more confident when it comes time to be able to take that shot because hopefully you've spent some time down on the range and you understand the pattern of your shotgun coupled with knowing the exact range using a range finder. You're going to be able to put the crosshairs, be able to put your sight, whatever it is you're shooting right where it's supposed to and that's going to result in more times than not a dead time for you. A few other things that I really like to pay attention to when it comes to turkey vest is you know a vest that obviously has a great pad for comfort but I really like these types of a of a vest right here to where when I lean down I'm actually this is my backrest and so it's allowing me to set out in places that typically you might not plan on uh, you know hunting and being comfortable to be able to sit up for long periods of time for a turkey uh, low brushy cover where there's no big trees to lean up against with this type of deal here who cares I can sit up anywhere I feel like I've got great cover I've got a nice built-in pad that unfolds out like that so I can sit on and I can sit and, and have sat for well over an hour and I'm ashamed to say but I've taken quite a few naps in this exact same situation so that comfort is something that's really key for you guys while you're out in the field because if you're comfortable you're going to hunt better you're going to hunt longer you're going to be less at to move at those in in inopportune times that are going to be able to trigger that time uh, awareness that you're in those areas you know when i start wrapping up the sides of my uh of my vest a couple things you know these little meshy pockets on the side are great for your soft drinks for your water that you're carrying around I use a locator call, which is a gobbler. It's a basically a shaker call. I shake it over my head and it's gonna gobble. This is a great call when you're hunting primarily a lot of private land. I don't necessarily always recommend using this type of a call on public land because it can draw attention to your area from another hunter hearing that and he starts moving in on you. And while it will help you locate birds in there, it can put you at risk in some public land situations. Speaking of public land hunting, uh, you know, without a doubt, there's some great public, hand, uh, public hunting opportunities out there. Always be aware when you're in those situations, when you're packing in and out, uh, you know, and you're carrying decoys or carrying a fan like I like to back here, to make sure you've got some hunter safety orange in there. It's going to allow others in the area to be able to, to spot you and know that just because they saw this fan or a decoy that you happen to might be carrying or a big tom that you've got sung over your back, they're going to be able to know that, that it's not that. They're going to be able to identify this hunter safety orange and be able to navigate away from you and obviously hopefully not take a shot. So when you pack your vest up, Make sure you pack it for comfort. Make sure you pack it so that you can sustain yourself for a day out there with snacks and water. Make sure you've got all the little extra tools that are gonna help make for a successful hunt, uh, such as your GPS, your range finder, and lots of calls. And if you get the right comfortable vest and you head out to the turkey woods, it's been a good long day, and you've geared up like this, I think you're gonna increase your chance for success tremendously.